Hello, 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 and welcome to episode 381 of Prog Review. And today I'm talking about Hergis Ridge by Mike Oldfield. And this includes this, and also, is it going to be the whole thing? Whole thing, everything, all at once. Hey! Uh, <laughs> this album was originally released way back on the 28th of August 1974. Um, it was the follow up to, of course, Tubular Bells. How do you follow up Tubular Bells? Well, this is the. This is the, the answer to that question. As you can imagine, Tube Deals was a phenomenal worldwide hit um, in the charts, still in the charts when, when, this, was, um, when this was released. And um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a funny album because, well, I'll explain. I'll explain. I'll explain. Because the original mix of it, because there's more than, there's more than, more than one version of this, I didn't know that, to, you know, when I when I came to this album, I didn't realise that there was different versions. The original version, of course, was released back in, you know, like I say, August '74, and this went out. And Oldfield wasn't too happy about it, in hindsight, because you know the reviews were. Well, I mean, the, the album sold well, um, but he wasn't. I don't know. He wasn't satisfied with the actual recording, and and then when it came to release. Um, this this is Mike Oldfield boxed, which brought um, Tuba Bell's Hergis Ridge and Omadorn. He decided to remix Hergis Ridge because it was a, he did it um, in well kind of a, an early version of 5.1 surround sound. It's SQ quadraphonic. Qu yeah, you needed four ears or four speakers more importantly to get the benefit of it, and so he remixed the album, and it was from these. The, from this, these matrices, the subsequent stereo pressings of the album were made. And so basically, the, the 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 quadraphonic version was kind of squashed into a stereo mix, and that's what we got. Yeah. So if you bought it on CD or or cassette or whatever, that's the version that you you heard. Um, like I said, when I came to it back in today, back in the day, I didn't realise I was listening to. I could like not the original version as if if it were. So when I came to get in this, which was released in twenty ten, Oldfield went back to the tapes and he decided to kind of do a restoration of the album. So you get and like a new there's a new stereo mix where those elements that were kind of buried uh, are brought back to the surface. It's mainly the it's mainly the opening section, because if you hear the original, it's very very um kind of pulled back there's not a lot of detail it's almost very it's very very um ambient very repetitive uh but he adds the guitars and the percussion back to the mix and that's what you get you see i, I mean i'm like i said i was quite shocked when i heard it because i was so used to the original version um it's like you know meeting a friend who's had radical plastic surgery they look familiar but there's something different about them and that was the same with this album um, again, very it's very it's very different from Tubular Bells. It's um, it's very pastoral. You get a sense of a person being alone. Again, at Hergis Ridge, this is where he was. He was in isolation, and it comes out in the music. Funny enough, um, it really does come out. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's an interesting interesting follow up. I, I think it's a lot stronger. Than, than Oldfield gives it credit. It's one of those albums that you know takes its time. This and Hom there is a great trilogy: um, Tube Bells, Hergis Ridge, and Armadorn. Because you know they're all recorded at roughly the, the same period, and we'll talk about that later. Uh, but um, it's an interesting trilogy to listen to because they're very diverse albums, even though it. This instrumental music, similar instrumentation, each one has a completely different feel to it. And um, whereas Tudor Bells is almost is pioneering and there's lots of minimalism in it and uh, repetition, Hergis Ridge is it's almost veering towards ambient music and you know it's more about creating a, an atmosphere rather than tunes, as it were. It's all about texture and atmosphere 
and I mean I really I really like it. It's a really I find it a really interesting album. I'm not too sure of the, the like the new old mix because I got so used to that that original version. It's again you become you become kind of invested in it. Not I'm not saying he he's ruined it or whatever. It's his album, but you become so invested in that original mix and you hear things a certain way. That when you hear it how it was supposed to have been, it was it was. I mean, it's still. I still find it shocking now, and I've had five years to get used to it. I still find it quite shocking. But to talk about this, I mean, this was this was a great package because what he did here is he like I said he's done a new a new stereo mix and included in in Dolce Jubilo, do 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 do, um, which was a B side of the of a, the single, and he also did a there was a. There's a um, a cut from her which, which he titled Spanish Tune, which is a promo single, uh, which is on the the first side. So the first side is quite good. Uh, when you get to the the like the, the flip side, um, flip side. What am I saying? Second disc. We're not we're not talking albums. These are CDs. Um, you get the original stereo mix from 1974. Uh, so you can compare and contrast what he's done with the old and the, and the new. And there's also um, some demo recordings which are fascinating because you think, you know, why would he need demo recordings? You know, he's got the he's got access to studios, but he did a set of demos and they're very close, you know, in places to the to to um, uh, to the original. And you've got the I also love the big synth you know, battle at the on the on the second side. Always reminds me of pipe organs for some reason, all going crazy. Um, and of course you have the the 5.1 surround mix which is, um, again you get to hear all this stuff in detail the only thing that's missing off of this is the is the original, well not what's not the, what did you call it, not the original mix but that quadraphonic mix that came um, later from this from 1976, that's the only thing that stops this from being complete um, but yeah, it's, so it's an album that exists in almost like three different versions and that's unique as far as I know I don't think there are too many albums that have um, that have had that treatment it's kind of been I think mistreated and I think it's one of those records that needs it needs it needs the love it does need the love I mean I like I said I've got a lot of time for it it's interesting to hear those first three albums in a, in a trilogy setting you know because you know, the first one minimalism this one pastoral very english and then omadorn we go more celtic african you know so interesting journey fascinating each one different each one and i always think that the Ridge is the, the the runt the runt of the litter uh, and that's a shame but this again with all these reissues that they've done and um, there's a great booklet and i think you can go and do the walk in Hergis Ridge because where the place is Changed the artwork. He didn't like the original artwork. It was done by um, Trevor Key, um, and it's one of those kind of three sixty degree pictures from from the ridge and uh, features. I think it was was it the name? Wasn't the dog's name Bootleg? Wasn't he? The, he's an Irish wolfhound. I always I always get the dog's names wrong. I'm sure it's Bootleg. <laughs> uh, but no, he's not. He's not in here, unfortunately. I think he's on the in inside. Let's have a look. Is he? Oh look, it opens up like that, and uh, there he is, there he is, that's good, I'm glad the dog's restored. <laughs> but um, but yeah, I mean again, you've got this thing with the, the gliders, when you get this on the DVD, when you put the DVD in, you have this great vista of gliders going over the area, and you get, again, it's just, it's, there is a sense of space and air and and the countryside, which is, um, it's a, like I say, it's a great great piece um, but yeah the only thing is missing is that that quadraphonic compressed quadraphonic mix from 76 and that would have made it complete then because you could have heard everything at once but then you might already have that you might already have that and be upgrading because if you already got that on CD then you can compare and contrast and hear and I think he's also shaved a couple of minutes off it I think I think yeah the, like the, the the version that you might already have is 21 was it 21 minutes 33 and the newer version is 
19 minutes 22 so yeah we shaved shaved two minutes off there uh, and 10 seconds off off side two so there you go he's, he's, he's even made edits but you know it's a fascinating album um, hard to rate because I think I think these early Mike Alfields all of them are kind of essential you need them in the collection so I mean it gets um, he gets five bootlegs out of five that's five bootlegs out of five because it is just a, a great record and Oldfield's talent at this time again he's under he was under a lot of stress to follow up that big success and um, it's all it's all here it's all here for you to find and again if you like 5.1 this is it um, but yeah you should also give this one boxed a, a try because uh, <laughs> there's some great there are some great tracks on there as well but um but yeah so it's fascinating to see what happened with Hercus Ridge and how it um you know came to be exist in three separate editions so I think I've, I hope that I've explained that all right always worry I hope that make it does make sense doesn't it that's good 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 um so yeah so it's a great 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 record um that's it i don't think there's any more to add to that other than get a copy so my name is darren lock up into about Hergis ridge all versions <laughs> broad strokes uh and this is like the deluxe version this is kind of the the, the best kind of the best one to pick up though you know if you're a collector you need this and the original cd or the boxed version uh, to be getting the full the full picture so that's it only one more thing to say and you you know you know you ready prog on <laughs>